Can you filter out false prints? You can't make them like you can't make them not happen. But once once a false print happens, you can right click and hit uh, correct this bar and like just remove it. You just remove this bar and then it'll make it go away so that your stream. Actually, I might do it. Let's just do it. Who cares? I'm in the trade here anyway. You guys can see I'm in the trade here. That way it doesn't like stretch your screen all out. Uh, alrighty, we are long. Uh, let's go ahead and set up the PL so that you guys can see both the daily and this trade. This trade PL is there. That top PL is now obviously the PL of this trade. The bottom is the PL of the day because we lost like 20 bucks on the overnight short. Uh, wow, our current sell is all the way at 398.46. That would be very nice. But it will adjust down. We are price channel traders, so the longer this trade takes, the lower this will come. It would be very nice just to get the bounce, though, Spy. be very nice to get the bounce. Why do those prints happen? Ah, weird brokerage glitches slash late orders being filled. There's a handful of reasons. It's just broker glitches for the most part. Nice bounce here in Spy, but doesn't matter yet, of course. We're, we're realistically, we're nowhere near our sell, so. <laughs> we are getting a nice bounce up 36 bucks, 38 bucks, 45 bucks. Wow. I can't even keep up. It's going up so fast. <laughs> what do I think about Coinbase shares? I think they'll follow Bitcoin. Holy sugar. Wow, we are getting the bounce up towards the initial sell. We're not there yet, of course. And I'm not going to sell early, but we're up 62 bucks. First trade of the day is starting off. Well, once again, we're still not out. We are still not out. Still looking for like 10 more cents in this 15 more cents. Oh my gosh, now we're out. Whoa, a quick $75 win. Whoa, look at that trade. Hello, good morning, chat. We are long here at 397, 79, 999, repeating, of course. We are long. Uh, our current sell is, wow. Wait, wow. Our current sell is all the way at 398.65. We'll see if that happens. I mean, the last trade went really nicely. We'll see if this one can happen. <laughs> here we go. Let's see. So now that PL in the bottom left, the top one is going to be uh, the day trading PL. So we were up $75 on the first trade. So that PL minus 75 gives you an idea of what this trade is. Objects appear larger than their actual size. Trey's got a kid. I believe his peen's been doing pretty well for himself. Yes, chat. I do trade stocks and I do get laid. I know. I. I, I, it's rare, I know, but. No way, man. How does he do it? Sell condition comes down slightly on this new candle. We are up slightly. We're up $15, but once again, who cares? We're nowhere near our sell condition. And we do not sell early. Do not, do not. I'm going to give you guys, I'm going to give you guys a trading hot take while I'm in this trade. Um. Scaling out is bad. People scale out because of emotion, right? People scale out because they're scared of watching their trade go from green to red. Or they just want to lock in any profit. Beginner traders, like, are just happy with green. And I could be, I can attest to this. I remember being like this. But they're just, oh my god, I'm green. I sell. Yes, I'm green. I sold. It doesn't, it doesn't matter, though, right? Like, you've got to, because you're also going to take red trades. It's going to happen. So in your winners, you have to make enough money to keep your risk reward correct. Scaling out just ruins your risk reward. Like, oh, well, Trey, you're up a little bit, so why not sell some here? Like, no. No. Pick pick a pick a stop loss, pick a pick a profit, uh, and sit on your hands until one of those hits. Scaling out is just ruining your risk reward. It's not bad to keep your head straight by selling a little bit. Yes, but you should get over that, right? You shouldn't have to sell some of your stock to keep your head straight, right? That's kind of the point I'm getting at, right, Diviner? That's what I'm saying. 
as people people scale out and sell some because they get nervous or like you know they, they scaling scaling is almost purely emotional <laughs> you have to grow past that as a trader like <laughs> I scale out almost every train. I'm not saying that there's not scale out systems that can be built, but what what I'm saying I should have I should have started with this. If your system doesn't involve you scaling out, scaling out is bad. I'm not I'm not saying that uh there, there, there can be systems built around scaling out, but I think a lot of people have systems like I have but scale out along the way like they have they have profit targets but then they just start randomly scaling before it gets there it's like that's that's not good if you have a system that involves scaling then yes that's that's a different thing that's a diff that's a different conversation i should have started with that <laughs> scaling is a strategy right 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 if that if your if your strategy involves scaling Okay, that's different, right? <laughs> but I have seen slash know of, or just do that. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, did I get on? Did I get on too much of a? Uh, did I get on too much of a real trading talk? We had to bring back bring back the real trading talk. We had to up the degeneracy a little bit. <laughs> Thank you, Water. By the way, whoa. Whoa, bounce. Whoa, bounce. If you scale, then you a punk bitch. Yeah. If you exit your trade before your strategy tells you to, you're a punk bitch. Yes. But Trey, I made money. It doesn't matter. Green is green. You can't go broke taking a profit. That's my least favorite, like, saying in the stock market. You can't go broke taking a profit. Yes, you can. You most definitely can go broke taking a profit because once again, you're going to take red trades. So your profitable trades, you have to get what you're supposed to get out of them. If you don't, then, uh, oh crap, 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 crap. Sell condition moves up on this candle. If you're not doing that, then you're throwing off your whole risk reward of your strategy and you will eventually go broke throwing off the risk reward of your strategy. Yes, you will. <laughs> wow, we just raised our sell condition. Since, since this got within 10 cents, of course, we raised our sell condition by like 10 cents there, nine cents. We are up uh, $65 in this trade again. And we are very close to out. Wow, oh my God, just ripped through it too. We're out. Wow, Spy is rocket shipping today. Chat, it's 10-12. The market's up and open for what's that? 52 minutes? 42 minutes, sorry. And I'm up $154 day trading. 132 on the day. Because, of course, the overnight short, we lost a little bit of money. But $154 up, 42 minutes into market open. Good morning. How are you all doing today? Who do the Eagles beat? I remember turning that game off because it was like a blowout. Uh, 398.69, we are along. We're actually not looking for much here because unfortunately, maybe this candle did bounce before we entered, but it is what it is. Oh, the Giants, that's right. They crushed the Giants, yeah. I think I stopped watching that game in the third quarter. <laughs> we are in a trade here. Oh, let's see how it goes. 100 shares, 398.695. So far, so good on the day, and so far, so good on this this trade. We just got two cents away from getting out. Not quite touching. Wow, got two cents away. There's still a minute left in this candle. Uh, okay. And there we go. We're out. Wow. I mean, that was that was like what a thirty dollar trade, but still. It's now 10.23. The markets ha still haven't been open for an hour. What's that, 53 minutes? We're up $180 day trading on three trades. 